Hey everyone, welcome back to Boom Gaming. This week we're in an exclusive event uh, here in Sydney. We're checking out Borderlands, the pre-sequel, and I'm joined here with Jonathan and Dean. How are you guys doing today? Good. Good, Good thanks, Sam. Awesome. So, what's it been like working on uh, Borderlands? I, I worked on some really um, fun projects in my time, but um, I, this is the most fun I've ever had making a video game, I think. You can kind of go crazy with it from a production standpoint, and uh, I think maybe you can tell us a bit about where we get to explore some of the levels. Uh, so yeah, I think today you were exploring a lot of the moon surface going around Concordia, which oh, is yeah. the kind of spaceport. That's where all the spaceships come in and stuff like that. And it would be the hub where there's a lot of new interesting characters you get to meet. But uh, across the moon there's a lot of different locales, so you would have gone to some of the areas which had a lot more kind of uh, result of the crackening which happened between Borderlands 1 and Borderlands 2 with the lava and everything like that that you can see. But other spaces will have liquid methane pools, things like that, so there's a lot of variety in the spaces, including factories and stuff like that. So. Um, but uh, I also um, you know, really like the uh, kind of Australian flavour that we've added to the game. Um, a lot of the characters on the moon um, speak in, you know, as Australians uh, and a lot of the locations are sort of inspired by Australian locations. Yeah. Um, there's uh, you know, Australian characters and caricatures and um, it, it's just added this whole sort of fresh angle to, um, to, uh, to the franchise and um, into the universe. Uh, so yeah, that, that's something that I, I'm um, very excited to see people's reaction to. Uh, just one final qu uh, question. Uh, I know it's the game will only be coming out on Xbox uh, 360, uh, PS3, and uh, PC. Is there a reason it's not coming to next gen consoles? I mean, it's, it's we wanted to um, uh, sort of explore more of the, the chronology that we already have. So it makes sort of, sort of sense to fit in with the other two games. And if people play this one and they have that hardware, then they can play the other ones as well, or vice versa. Um, and uh, I mean, the other thing is, um, it's a uh, you know, uh, it, it, um, it, it made a bit more production sense for us. Um, we, we didn't want to um, do a DLC, but we didn't want to sort of commit to um, like, oh, what does it mean to be next gen? Um, like, how long do we need um, to make that? Um, but most importantly, we wanted to go where the fans um, were. So there are so many Borderlands fans that already have the old um, generation consoles, um, and uh, you know, there's always PC there for the, the next gen stuff. Sure. Yeah, there's a lot of people like me that have upgraded our consoles to the next gen. I mean, is that a possibility in the future we can maybe see pre-sequel coming to PS4, Xbox um, One? Maybe. <laughs> maybe? <laughs> cool, thanks a lot for your time guys. No, really appreciate you. the interview. Right. Definitely look forward to the, this game coming out in October. Fantastic.